we have right here is the back of your Apollo. So we want to get everything hooked up in the right places. And we want to do it the first time and the last time. You know, you don't want to do stuff 20 times. So trying to figure out, you know, playing with stuff, you might break something. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do here is set up your power. Of course, plug it into the wall. And then we're going to take the power cord right here and plug this into the AC spot. Take it, twist it in. It's kind of different. Okay. If your Apollo is on in the on position, then it should cut on. If it doesn't, then that means you don't have it plugged in, right? Of course. So next, we're going to plug in the USB C to here, which is the Thunderbolt. Call it Thunderbolt cable. Bam. So the Thunderbolt cable is hooked up now. Okay. And this is for the Apollo Twin, of course, again. And then. We're going to plug in our speakers. Now, you don't want to plug your speakers into the lines, okay? That's not for the speakers, okay? We're going to plug them into here, the monitors. Plug your speakers into the monitors. So, you got speakers plugged into the monitors. Okay. So, speakers are not hooked up, okay? Speakers are not hooked up. So, now, so far, we got the power here, firewire from the computer into here. Okay, that's to communicate with the computer. Okay, and we have the the speakers are plugged in here. Okay, all right. So now all we have to do is hook up the microphone. Okay, and of course the headphones. And the headphone port is right on the front on the right side. So if you guys are looking for that, if you can't see the emblem, the headphone emblem, uh, look on the front. You can plug the headphones right into that jack. Okay. So then you plug in your microphone into the port one, okay? Now you can't use either channel, you can interchange them. Like, it's, God forbids, if this port, you know, your interface breaks, you can use that one instead of this one. But, you know, hopefully it works. But at this point, your Apollo twin should be set up to work fine, okay? So now what we're going to get into is the more other technical side make sure it communicates with your computer all right let's get finally to made it here we got our thunderbolt uh interface all was set up we got our universal audio apollo twin set up we got it wired up from the back to the front and we ready to go so now what we're going to do here the first thing i do is want to make sure it works with itunes first i want to make sure my music music can play through itunes through the speakers so i'm going to go here to system preferences hit system preferences should pop up ba ba bomb bum 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 there it is then i'm gonna hit system purposes i'm gonna hit sound i'm gonna go right to sound speaker okay then as you can see all the audio should pop up here and you simply you click universal audio thunderbolt click that and your iTunes will work, okay? Let's see. Let's make sure it works. We're going to make sure it works. I'm going to show you guys. Then, so your iTunes should work right after that. And it'll work exactly with, uh, like, YouTube, the Internet, all that stuff. So you won't have those problems anymore, okay? Because I know I've been to a lot of studios where they were like, you can't play music through iTunes because it's not going to play through the speakers. You know, a little ghetto shit. So now let's make sure it works. So, Sean should play. And it does work. Hey. Hey. So you guys hear that? Bam. So, now that it's at work, it's, it's working with iTunes and it's working with the internet, of course, all that good stuff. Got to make sure it works with Pro Tools. That's the most important part. So, I simply click my Pro Tools. I go to my Setup, setup tab playback engine bam pops up so it should pop up universal audio thunderbolt bam hit that all right they give you a warning letting you know basically that you're changing interfaces um you know and it's about to basically refresh the whole session session so basically it's refreshing the whole session bringing it back up to code with the new interface 
let it do its thing. Alright, enough. Alright. So yeah. So it should work. Let's see if if it works. Let's cross our fingers. Thank you, And it does. Hey. So that, my friend, is how you hook up your Universal Thunderbolt interface, Apollo Twin, to your computer and make sure it works with your speakers. And the same thing with your other interfaces, okay? Just make sure that your connections are connected properly and make sure that you go to Setup and make sure you go to Playback Engine, okay? And make sure you go and select the right interface. That's all you have to do. It's very simple, okay? Thanks for watching again, you guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more tutorials and more giveaways.